Hello, Desert Shadows middle school students and families. This is Mr. H and Mrs. O'Boyle is here too in our studio, uh, coming to you from our campus to share important information about the new modified PV Connect schedule. We started this schedule on November 23rd. We'll take about 10 minutes here to discuss what's been working well with the new schedule and a few areas that we can improve on. Please watch this video through to the end so that together we can make the most of each school day. As we begin, let's be mindful that at the end of term is coming up. Second quarter end of term is in just two weeks and we want everyone here to finish strong. Our PV Schools Connect schedule has two parts. The first part of the day, we moved our structured class time to the morning from 8 a.m. until noon. We've also begun requiring students to appear on camera in each of their classrooms to, for better engagement and participation. In the second part of our day, after lunch, all students can take advantage of the opportunity for targeted support in each of their classes through 25 minute stat periods. In this video, we'll talk about how our day is going. We'll place emphasis on the afternoon time, which may not be as well understood. We'll spend time making this part clear. It's important because understanding and taking advantage of our afternoon can be a major success factor for our students. I'll invite Mrs. O'Boyle to explain how the new schedule is working and the benefits for DSMS. Most online only schools have shorter days to limit screen fatigue. Many of our long-term PV Connect students and families at DSMS advocated for the kind of schedule that PV schools moved to on November 23rd. Our teachers are finding that the later classes like period seven and eight are more lively and engaged because they start earlier in the school day. It's plain for everyone to see that cameras on enhances engagement and learning. Teachers are thrilled with what a difference it is to see the bright eyes and faces of our students. Attendance and class participation are way up. Keep up the great work, Sidewinders. So, completing classes before lunch gives us flexibility in the afternoon. Our teachers are working through until 2.40 p.m. to that bell, and it's a critical time for students, too. At DSMS, we were strategic in deciding how to best serve our students with the gift of time in the afternoon. Our goals were, one, to build in time for homework and skills application so that all classroom work can, can, be, can be completed by the mid-afternoon. And two, to allow time for students and teachers to get together for that extra help. For those who have fallen behind, or if you're just not grasping the concepts that were taught in class that day, STAT is for you. STAT stands for Student Teacher Assistance Time. Your teachers care about your growth and success. When things aren't going quite right, the student and teacher should get together and talk about why this is. For this reason, your teachers will be waiting for you every day for 25 minutes in the afternoon in your STAT classes. They are set up in your Google Classroom on your PV Learners account. Who should be going to STAT and why? Think about it this way. If any one of your morning classes comes to an end and you're left with questions on the material, then STAT is for you. If you're not confident that you can complete the assigned homework, check into STAT. Big test tomorrow? STAT is a great opportunity to review and hear the questions that others might have. If you're earning a D or an F, you could absolutely be attending STAT and you should for that class every day until your grade is improved. This intervention time could save your grade, but more importantly, it's going to ensure that you're on track to move to the next grade level. When can you pull back from attending afternoon stack classes? If you're receiving A's and B's and on the same page as your teacher, you might opt out of stat. Students who are meeting their academic goals and feel confident in their understanding of the material may choose not to attend STAT and get started on their homework instead. I hope this clears up any misunderstandings or confusion about the afternoon STAT sessions. Under this video, you will find a link to the bell schedule for PV Connect and the afternoon STAT times. 
STAT sessions were spaced out so that students can attend a STAT for up to five different classes if they need to. Chances are you need more help in some classes than others. Make wise decisions and get the help in those classes where you need it the most. We are sharing this message at an important time. We have just two weeks left until the end of our second quarter. So far, our mornings seem to be going great with strong attendance, healthy participation, and cameras on. Awesome. The place that seems to be missing here is that afternoon stat attendance for students who may be on the fence in terms of grades. I invite students and families to log into Infinite Campus together. Do that this weekend. If your grade is not where you want it to be, drill down and find those opportunities to improve. Teachers allow late work to be turned in. Most allow some opportunities to redo failed assessments. Find those opportunities and get after it. Here's a no-brainer. All students who are getting a D or an F in your class should be attending STAT until your grades are back in the clear. No exceptions. Your teachers want to see you there but it's up to you to take advantage of this time in the afternoon. I would like to acknowledge that we've been through a lot of changes this school year. We are working right now in our third schedule. And as we aim to structure our day the best we can to support teaching and learning, we want to encourage students to stay with us. In abnormal times, when we are outside a regular routine, perhaps feeling alone, one thing that we can do is to go back to our regular routines of school attendance, participation, doing your best on schoolwork, and striving to get your best grade. Let's all make a decision to stay with it over the next two weeks. It will give you something to be truly proud of as we see a break from school coming up in two weeks' time. And finally, Mrs. O'Boyle and I are hopeful that at the end of this pandemic is on the horizon and that we will, we will be back to in-person learning soon. Until then, please take time to consider how taking advantage of afternoon opportunities can help you make the grade and meet your goals this quarter. As always, reach out to the office to talk with us or any of your teachers with questions. Thank you for listening to this message. Be kind, be brave, and stay safe, Sidewinders.